me let's let me jump right into this. So here we've got a delta math problem. This is uh, one problem type from this week. It is the only problem type that I don't have a video for. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about this problem with you guys now um, live, and then I will upload what I do uh, onto Google Classroom and onto YouTube so people can rewatch it if they have to. Uh, all right. So the problem is to look at these two equations, right? This one here and here and to graph them, and then to find out where they intersect. So this is essentially a graphing lines review. So to graph a line, we are looking at two things. We are looking at this number in front of the x, and we are looking at this number right here. And it's our job to remember what these numbers mean. All right, so let's do a thought bubble. So the two things that those numbers mean are the slope and the y-intercept. Uh, just checking in, you who are watching the videos, can you see what I'm writing on the screen? I assume you can, but if you can't, that's bad. Um, the slope comes from the number in front of the x. The slope in this case is 4 over 3. And the y-intercept comes from the number at the end, which is 0, comma, negative 2. A little laggy? Yeah, OK. That's pretty, that's pretty standard for this kind of software. And that's it. We're going to have to use the slope and the y-intercept, which I'm going to do in a second. But first, what I'm going to do is the same thing, but for the other ones. Let me switch to a different color, and we're going to do the same thing. So for the second equation, I see the negative 2 over 3, and I see the negative 8. And I'm going to do another thought bubble. And I know that these two values tell me the slope, and they tell me the y-intercept. And the slope is just that fraction, negative 2 over 3. And we'll talk about using it in a second. And the y-intercept is the negative 8, 0, comma, negative. OK. So once you've identified those parts of your formula, you can start graphing. So for the green line first, the one that I have in green, I start by looking at the y-intercept of 0, comma 2. And on delta math, I can just click on that point. And then the next thing I did follow is the slope. So remember, slope is rise over run. So the 4 tells me how much to go up. 1, 2, 3, 4. For the run, which is 3, which is how much you go over. 1, 2, 3. Um, and I can annotate this again, but I'm going to do the other line first. So the other line has a slope of, or has a y-intercept of negative 8 and a slope of negative 2 over 3, which means I go down to, oops, sorry, negative 8, and then I go down to and over 1, 2, 3. Okay. Um, so let me annotate a few things. Uh, first, just to reiterate the slope, well, for the four thirds, the slope went up and over, right? Up four over three. And for the other one, it went down two and over three, right? The negative two was down two and then over three there. And then the last thing we're doing is the answer to this problem is the intersection of the two points or the two lines, which is this right here. And so that intersection point has a coordinate, right? The coordinate of that intersection, count it, I have to go back three and down six. So this intersection is at negative three comma negative six. And that is the answer to the problem. Now to actually do this, I'm gonna have to scroll down, which means I'm gonna have to delete the annotations. So uh, I'm gonna delete the annotations, but when you're watching this as a video, you can pause it and write down and record whatever you need. 
So clear all drawings. And I'm going to scroll down. And like I said, the solution is that point of intersection, negative 3, comma, negative 6. Submitting answer. I am sure I want to submit this answer. Green check mark feels good.